we were all just so scared. But we didn't know if we were ever going to get out or see our families again. Scary moments at a Durham High School after junior ROTC student carrying a plastic weapon since the school into lockdown. We first told you about this breaking news tonight at 6. It happened at Northern High School. That's where we find Colleen Quigley. And Colleen, they didn't know it was a student. Yeah, Angela and Marius, thankfully this whole thing was a false alarm, but the emotions these kids and families felt here today, fear and confusion were all very, very real. This all started when someone called 911 reporting seeing a person with a gun walking onto campus. It was only after a lockdown and an evacuation that it was revealed to be a false alarm. It's the text no parent wants their child to send. Mommy, I love you because I didn't know what was going to happen. I wanted her to know that I loved her. Deari Elamine was watching his older sister play volleyball at Northern High School Tuesday night when the school went into lockdown. I looked at her and then I said that we need to go and get out of here with her. And then I was really scared. The 911 call came just before 5 o'clock of a person with a gun walking on school property. Security video later revealed it was a junior ROTC student carrying a plastic replica weapon for drill practice. Some students sheltered in place. Law enforcement came. The police department, sheriff's office came to carefully and safely evacuate the building because we had to treat it as a potentially real situation. Denia, her little brother and other students hid in the locker room. Like we were all just so scared, but we didn't know if we were ever going to get out or see our families again. But football players like Cameron Flowers had to run back inside. I just wanted to call my people and tell them I love them. Students say they practice shooter drills during school hours, but not after school. And we all were going to go outside and like try to get away from the school, but then everyone told us to go back in and everyone was crying. Dayari and Denia's mom, Janine, arrived at the school as the kids were evacuating. They came out with hands up and that was a terrible um, vision too. This family relieved it was all a false alarm. We were walking out of the school and uh, we finally saw my mom and my brother. We ran and we hugged him and my mom. Yeah, what a relief for those families. Now, Durham Public Schools did release a statement tonight in part uh, thanking the deputies and the officers who were out here for all of their hard work and thanking the teachers and staff for their calm confidence and keeping the students safe during this whole situation. Reporting live in Durham, Colleen Quigley, CBS 17 News. Colleen, thank you.